Hey guys, welcome to Texas. You found a one-stop shop for real estate investment. We've got a lot to do today, so what do you say let's get started? Come on back. Texas Cash Cow. No, we're so um, busy. It's great to see you guys. Thanks for coming to Texas and visiting us at the Texas Cash Cow. We've got a whole lot of information to go over today, Philip. So why don't you get started by telling the folks at home exactly what we do here? Absolutely, Jim. At Texas Cash Cow, we're a one-stop shop for real estate investments. We purchase REO properties from the banks in bulk with cash. In doing so, we save a tremendous amount of money. We pass these savings along to our customers. We also own a construction company which goes and rehabs each one of these properties to better the new condition. We also own a property management company. We place a tenant immediately which makes for a situation where you have instant equity and instant cash flow in every property. What better place to be in, right? True turnkey operation. That's right. On top of that, we have in-house financing, insurance, and everything that you would need to make this investment the best possible scenario it can be. Should we go out and look at some properties get Absolutely. started? Absolutely. we got a lot to look at, so why don't you guys come on out and take a look. Well, Philip, here we are in one of our typical neighborhoods in Dallas. Uh, we've had a lot of success here, bought and sold quite a few properties. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the neighborhood and a little bit about the property we're standing in front of. Sure, you bet, Jim. Uh, we are about 15 minutes from downtown. This is the area, the area that we like to uh, purchase houses in. It's an up-and-coming area. Um, we have existing homes and new construction going in, in this neighborhood. Uh, some of the homes are 2005 and 2006 models, but we also have the new construction going on as well. So we like to be in areas that have new construction um, to raise those values and continue to raise the values through the market. This house specifically is uh, kind of a typical deal for us. It uh, is built in 2005. It's 1,650 square feet. It's three bedroom, two bath, and two car garage. Uh, this house sold for 113,000 and is leased out for 1,250. So here we are at another one of our properties. This house is uh, built in 2006. It is 1,600 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. This house sells for $114 and leases out for $12.50. This was uh, one of the houses that we sold here last month. Um, this house was 1,969 square feet, uh, built in 2005, three bedroom, two bath, two and a half bath actually. Um, this house sold for $129 and leases out for $1,300. So that's a good little house right there. This uh, is a, more of an equity neighborhood. We have uh, a lot of larger homes. Uh, most of the homes that we have over here are between 2,200 and 2,500 square feet. So these are ones that create a great equity situation. Uh, when the market turns back around, uh, you'll have quite a bit of equity in these homes. got a couple of houses on this street here. We uh, had one here that uh, was built in 2006. Uh, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. Uh, the sales price was 102 and it rents for 1250. And here we have a house on the left that uh, we're going to stop and take a look at. This is one of our new houses. Construction just got complete. So let's get out and take a look at this one. Here we are at another one of our houses. This is considered an equity house. Um, this house is built in 2006, is 2,350 square feet, uh, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Uh, we sell this house for 130,000 and it leases out for 1,300. Um, this house would be appraised at about 150,000. And again, we're gonna sell that house at 130,000. So you have about 20,000 built in equity. When the market turns around, a home like this will be worth about 170,000. So we've got excellent price um, on this house and this is considered an equity house for us.
Well, here we are. We're looking at uh, Homer at his uh, finest putting in. What kind of fires are you putting in there, Homer? Some periwinkles. Some periwinkles. He's got some new periwinkles going in, some uh, some new bushes. we got new landscaping going in. So we're putting the fi finishing touches on this one, Jim. Looks good. Looks good. This is one of our houses uh, that's for sale. It's uh, built in 2005. It's four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, uh, 2119 square feet, and uh, this house sells for 122,000. You want to take a look inside here? Absolutely. This is a big house built. Did you say this was 122,000? Yeah, this house is 122,000, Jim. It's uh, 2,119 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Um, it works out to about $57 a square foot that we're selling this thing at. That's yeah. pretty incredible, isn't it? After it's all complete, huh? 57 Everything, yeah, foot. everything. So uh, they just finished up out front with the landscaping, mm -hmm. as you saw. We're just about done in here. Uh, we've got to put uh, some appliances in, but you can see these are just like brand new houses. We put the new wall color on. It's an eggshell washable paint. Um, white ceilings, you know, the premium countertops, premium vinyl. So uh, people really like these things. It's a great value. Looks very similar to the other houses. I mean, see the consistency and everything. Like you say, the colors, it looks good. Yeah. You want to take a look upstairs? Yeah, let's do it. All right. You know, I feel I can't help but notice. I keep looking around trying to find a flaw in something. But, yeah, this house is incredible shaper. You replaced everything because from the smoke detectors to the light switches, I... The new lines, I mean, I assume they're new, I don't know. Yeah, um, you know, these houses do get wear or tear, and uh, we want them to look brand new, so we do go through and, you know, change out the, uh, the light switches, the uh, cover plates, the plugs, the uh, smoke detectors, the fans, all that good stuff. So, again, you know, the builders will come in and they'll try to do stuff a little bit cheap, and uh, we want to mm -hmm. upgrade these houses to get the most out of them. Yeah, this is nice. Looks like we've got an extra flame family room up here. Is that correct? Yeah, this is upstairs. Again, this house is uh, 2119 square feet, and uh, it's got an extra family room up here along and this is a nice touch to this house. So. Yeah, it looks really good. You want to take a look at the uh, master bed and bath? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Right. Here we are in the master bedroom, Jim. I want you to check out this uh, view. Man, a lot of trees. Everybody thinks that we've got desert here in Texas, but uh, this is proof in the pudding that uh, we've got quite a few green belts and uh, Foliage and all that kind of good stuff. This is a this is a nice view here. It's got to be kind of desirable to have a green belt, and I've noticed several of the houses do. How far are we from from downtown? Yeah, this uh, master bedroom's got quite the view. We've got uh, uh, lots of greenery back here, and we're only about 15 minutes from downtown. Um, you know, this is probably not what you would uh, imagine from a major metropolitan area, but we have lots of trees here, and we have lots of uh, lots of spaces that uh, have green belts behind our uh, neighborhood. So it's really nice. Nice.